Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be checking out Instant OS, a Arch Linux based distribution. We'll jump right in by checking out the status bar up top. For some of you who've messed around with DWM before, might say it looks similar and in a sense it may be, but we'll talk about that later. What we have on the left hand side is a quick launch where you can type in whatever you're looking for, such as desktop, but it only filters through these few things right here. As we go through the various different quick select menu items here, such as application settings, terminal info, documentation, key bindings, shut down and close, we can see a change in the highlighted icon and let's first check out the applications. But before we do, make sure to smash that like button for me. What's special about Instant OS? Again, it's an Arch-based Linux distribution that has a fairly small footprint with about 120 megabytes of RAM being used when it first starts up. It runs a custom window tiling manager called Instant WM, which I'm showing off right now. It also offers floating window support and some of its tools are based loosely off of the suckless tools, which we'll see later on. Mainly being that Instant OS did use the suckless tools at the beginning of things, but now only has about 40% of the original build of the suckless tools. So as we check out the applications, we can see the various different things that are installed here. Speaking about Suckless, we have the ST Terminal from Suckless available here right on the application screen. And I believe this is their default terminal. We have other applications installed here, such as Nitrogen to set your wallpaper, some Bluetooth management, Firefox, the default web browser here, AR and R, which is the XRandry GUI to set up your desktop resolution and a few other things such as NeoVim. There is a second page, although I don't see anything really denoting that second page. If we scroll over, we have a few more things uh, such as some extra terminals, the welcome screen, some assistance, and power management. If we open up the instant welcome, which is a nice little app that they've made for us from instant OS, we get a welcome app where we can filter again and we can click through various different things, not only to set up instant OS here with customization, but to get started and view their documentation. Their documentation on their website's fairly good. I've checked it out and it's got me going through the beginning stages of using instant OS. This has been a Linux distribution that has been suggested by a few people in the comments section. As I talked about before, this is a window tiling manager called Instant WM. So we have key bindings available to us, such as the super space key, which launches a nice little search applications, really packages here that are installed on the system. Quick search. So if I wanted to, let's say, check out the XRander package, I could just type in XRander, filters it down, a ton of packages available there, 2,639 claimed by the system with the base install. This might be a little more because I have installed just a couple things on here to try, but besides that, this is great. If you left click, you'll get the search applications again where we can search for applications such as files. And if we launch that, we have our file browser here. Nothing special in this, so we'll exit out doing super Q. The super key is going to be the Windows key, at least by default. The main goal here seems to be providing the user with a seamless experience out of the box with their custom window manager which doesn't require much setup and it uses Arch Linux to keep things minimal. They also offer the ability to easily customize the system if that's something that the user wants to do, although it's not necessary because it's a full-fledged working system here, somewhere in between a desktop environment and a window manager. Moving back to the status bar, we have different workspaces that we could be working on. Super Inner, I get the ST Terminal. If I hit Enter and I adjust the font in here, just to make things bigger so we can see. What you'll notice is this is a ZSH shell with pretty nice tabbing. So I can go to documents here. Doesn't look all that bad, but what I wanna check out real quick is what repos we have available. So if I do sudo pacman-sYY, I can see that I have core enabled, extra community, multi, lib, and instant all from Arch Linux. Very good. And what's also special about instant OS is that you can get the Nix packaging system working on here as well via a tool called Instant Nix. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out Instant Nix to get the Nix Universal Package Manager. Also, if you're just stopping by, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and operating system videos. Clearing things out and going up top, you'll notice we have the various different things we have launched. We can actually select between these or use our key bindings in order to get around. Make sure to check out Instant OS's website. They have a decent one 
with a lot of community support tools as well as a frequently asked questions page so it can help you navigate the system and always make sure to check out that FAQ before posting on their forums or their various different chat platforms. Also, if you ever get lost, if you do Super F1, you get a great key bindings reference page which shows you all the various different key bindings available through the Instant Window Manager. That way, if you're not familiar, this is a great way to check things out. We'll do Super Q to get out. And one thing, if you click up top, you can see that there's a little bit of an animation here whenever we minimize or maximize and going through applications here. Not bad. I like the animations. Everything's super minimal here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Not too many packages. Light overall, which we'll be checking in a moment here. I'm going to exit out of nitrogen as well. And then talk more about what's on the right hand side here. It tells us I, which just represents if you have an internet connection currently or not. We have the current date and time as well as this a 45 percent which just dictates what your audio level is currently at other than that if you have a red eye here that just represents that you don't have an internet connection you might have b for battery and a percentage as well if you are on a laptop computer but so far using instant os has been nice because it is just snappy it works super fast at launching apps super fast at going through and i do like their custom built installer which takes you through the install process very minimally it seems to be some terminal based installer it's great can't complain and then if you hit on the power button up top you get the shutdown logout reboot and a few other things in the shutdown menu if you press escape you can always get out of things and space also launches applications there's multiple ways again left click you can search as well with a right click you get this search apps which is really nice to use I like having things like this it would be nice if you could do some math in here you're not able to as far as I can tell that would be lovely not sure if they're using some kind of underlying package or engine there a little bit of history from instant OS is that it used to be based on Manjaro but it has made the switch to be purely an arch Linux based distribution for multiple reasons including the availability of more architectures moving away from from the Calamari's installer and more dependability. Overall, I think it was a pretty nice switch and we are currently in the Instant OS Beta 6 release. Hopefully, they'll have a full release here soon. It's been in development for a while, but the team seems to be doing a great job. Let's go back and enter in a terminal, make things a little bigger here, and check out HTOP. In HTOP, kind of hard to see up here, but currently I'm running at 501 megabytes out of 8 gigabytes. The CPU is going between 0 and 4%. I have 261 tasks, 318 threads running. Again, we can be as minimal as around 120 megabytes according to Instant OS, which is absolutely fantastic. 502 megabytes, that's not bad at all as well. I've been up for almost two hours anyway, playing around, having fun. All right, exiting out of that. We'll also check out NeoFetch real quick. And I'd suggest this to anybody who's trying to make a transition between a desktop environment over to a window manager who doesn't necessarily want to lose all the capability that they have in a de full-fledged desktop environment because Instant OS seems to still have some of those features including using these tiled windows as regular windows. If you just hold down the mod key and you right click, you can resize things. Also, you can move them around the screen much like you would find in any window of a desktop environment. It's still great to have that option if you're new to a window tiling manager. It's a soft start, definitely. Anyways, back to NeoFetch. Let's check this out. Actually, let me clear things out and then do NeoFetch again. So we're running Instant OS kernel 5.10. We've been up for about an hour and 50 minutes. There's only 960 source packages here. ZSH 5.8 installed as the shell. We're running the window manager called Instant WM. Theme is, is Arc Dark. Icons are Papyrus Dark. Terminal Tmux, which is kind of funny. That should be ST. AMD Ryzen 7 3700X currently running this. And surprisingly, our memory jumped up a little bit, but that must be because we're running some stuff in the background. Anyways, that's really it here for Instant OS. Just checking this out. If you want an Arch-based Linux distribution with the nice window manager, this might be the one for you. Make sure to check it out and let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. It's pretty great for being in beta and I think they're coming along just great. If you want to visit Instant OS, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.